Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with the uh, Bavarian Currywurst, that is Dikimik Speck. And we are on the final stretches of the La Vuelta a España. And the sad piano music in the background is so fitting. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> It's such a tragedy, um, and it is a tragedy because our team has staged a coup against Dicky Mechspeck, at least for a stage or two, and that was rather embarrassing. Overall, the display of my team was rather embarrassing. The worst part about it is that I'm a member of that team for another year, because they are not worthy of a high-class Gerewosh as Dicky Mechspeck. He has not been doing all too well in the Vuelta. Um, for a few reasons, and one of them being um, quite bad luck with the race day condition, the second one being that we don't have a fitness peak, and the third one being that we have a team that is entirely incompetent and uh, very much too tired right now to um, do anything useful. But anyway, anyway, that aside, let's race this to the finish, let's bring it to an end to the bitter end, maybe we will be able to get into the top 10 on the final mountain stages, but that's that's not easy. Uh, we have managed our fitness as well as we could have, so that's great. We are just up to 50% tiredness and only the last day, the flat day, will be at 72% if the forecast is correct. Today's stage does look uh, like an interesting bunch of little climbs, so we should be able to get get over pretty well I think um, because they are not too long so our resistance bar will last but what I'm worried about is how they will be racing this little piece here towards the end before the final climb there is plenty of uh, time to recuperate in this downhill of course from the second category final climb but then this whole bit uphill I think it will count as flat but it will be much slower and uh, take the shit out of Mechspeck. He is in the list of favorites all the way down here uh, in 10th place, but yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, poor little dicky. Anyway, let's get racing! Hmm, yeah, very interesting profile. Um, this this almost looks like... Should we, should we try with Mechspeck to escape? Yeah... <sighs> So, so difficult to decide. Uh, it's, the, it's the old thing. He doesn't have that much stamina. 73. Uh, compared to the other riders that usually at this point join the breakaways. And I don't think he will be let go if he's in 12th place. 11 minutes. That's, uh, and he's one of the favorites today. So, no, I, I don't think that. Uh, but let's instead try with our zero race day condition, which is decent. We do have more resistance today, and we do have plus two to hill. That's great. So maybe we can actually win this stage. But then again, look at this terrible mess. This is our mountain guy who is supposed to help us out in the uh, to to get some bottles and whatnot. Um, he was our premium helper in the first week. No more premium. Nothing more premium about him, though, <laughs> if you look at the stats. Oh, my God. <laughs> he will be glad it's over. Yeah, you see, if you are... If you're, like, one hour and ten minutes back, like, Gesink or... Oh, wait a sec. What was this? Kreuzinger. Um, then... Who would... There. There, yes. 47 minutes. Then you can attack. Then they won't necessarily follow you. That's fine. But 12 minutes... That's a little too good, currently. Are you going to attack again? Yeah, he is. All right. All right, halfway. And now we are soon going to get into these climbs. Uh, the worry is that I don't have teammates to help me out here whatsoever. So um, I probably want uh, someone to get some bottles right before... Like around this, the sprint rating here, uh, which they are not going to ride for. And then... Uh, I guess I'll have to do it myself some point through these climbs, but uh, that's always super dangerous. Probably better in the downhill. 
The good thing is that today it is rainy. Uh, well, that's not good for crashes, of course, but um, the good thing is that it doesn't seem to be all that hot. And now we are in the climb. Uh, do we get some? Oh, yeah, we just got some water. Good. Whew, good timing. Oh, no. Our helper... Oh, our helper made it over the first... First mountain. That's great. Now, please, don't crash. Don't crash in the downhills. Oh, that... I shouldn't have jinxed it, right? I shouldn't have. Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh, and they are also all falling. Oh, that's a ma- Oh, no, not them too. <laughs> but Dicky McSpeck can continue. So we have lost two minutes on the actual peloton. Um, that will be hard to get back. Because they're not riding slowly here. Uh, we're slowly coming back to them. One minute twenty-eight. Riding hard. And my helper is gone. Okay, as expected. And, oh shit, McSpec. 85. Oh, come on. Go 85 alone. Wow, they are so fast. What's going on there? <laughs> oh, completely annihilating. Um, can we catch up before the the climb? Come on, go at 90. Uh, before the climb crests. Yes, it looks like it. Come on, go McSpec. Go McSpec. Are you actually in the group? No, you're not. You're not counted as the group. Oh, go, go, go. Maybe we can catch them in the downhill. Uh, then we can... Oh, no. Not really, no. Maybe we have to catch them in the next climb. All right, almost at the bottom. Soon we will have to uh, accelerate again to try to get back to them. And now it's... Are we in the in the climb? Not yet. Come on, guys. Come on. We can do it. Yes. It's looking good. Going up here at 85. Well, we are back in the group, but we are riding it at 85. And still not quite at the front, of course. Back with the favorites. Good, good. And McSpec will be quite dead at the top. That was not a nice fall. Oh, those guys have some thick legs, too. Let's... Simon Yates oh. goes into the attack. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Now hang on, McSpec. Hang on to them. Like, go to go to Chris Froome or someone. Whew! We did it! We made it back to the first group. That was hard. Okay. So, now this terrible, terrible, upward-sloping approach to the final climb. And they are attacking. Ah, uh, brilliant. I, I can't. You can't go with them. Um... Ah, is he attacking? No. Okay, they're, they're trying. Not really getting away. Okay, we caught all the escapees. That was a good thing that I didn't go with the escape group. Um, because they would have been quite fucked anyway. Like, they, they are very good riders. So I wouldn't have done much better than them. Uh, they're not riding very fast, and they are going at a very high speed. Uh, no, but not really trying. Looks like our resistance will last, so that's good news. Uh, so it's just down to pure speed, and we have lost so much stamina bar today just to catch them again after the fall that I don't think we will have enough base speed to uh, really challenge them. But, yeah, mm, if I'm very well positioned, I might be able to do something. Okay, so now, let's pop the spec bar. Because this is... We're already three kilometers away from the finish. So we're almost there. And... Um... Hard to tell. So it's flattening out a little bit now. And... Oh, I need to move faster. Faster, max spec. Accelerate. Accelerate. And... Then we just go into it hard. Like at 90. Yes, that's good. And... Try to... Follow him. Yeah, yeah, it's looking pretty good, but McSpec doesn't have the base speed. Oh, wow, look at that! How fast they are! We just don't have that in us anymore. So McSpec is... dead. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, all the sprint bars already gone. 
So now we just uh, press the sprint button and try our best. Can't yeah, more dog. time lost. That's that's not working out. <laughs> Max Beck is done for. This was there too much for him. He oh, he really was strong there. Draft. And we came in in 11th. That is about how how good we are right now with Max Speck. Uh, yeah, not not enough base speed here, guys. After the chase, we lost 15 seconds. That's all good. Uh, what is the general saying? Uh, I don't think this guy was among the the winners of the stage. Uh, no, but there were plenty of. Are you kidding me? Like, everyone got the same time. Oh my god. Okay, we still don't get any points during the tour. That's bad. Uh, next stage then. The last big one, isn't it? No, it's not the last big one. Let's have a quick look. So, stage 19 is this, which we have on screen there in the background. Stage 20 is the last big one, a really big one. And then a flat stage to finish it off. So this one, uh, I don't really see anything happening here. Um, so maybe I should try to attack. All right, let's have a let's have a quick try here. Oh, he wants to go on an attack. It seems no, he's just um, just trying to shield me. Oh, they seem to be like, instantly he broke from the pack like a greyhound. attacking or accelerating. Or are they? Ah. Now we are getting away, slightly. So now I just need to be um, followed by someone. Oh, hello. Attacks, please. Can a few more attacks go, please? Um, they're actually chasing me down. Okay. Or are they? Or are they just... Uh... Oh, no, there are some attackers going, maybe. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. Yep. The no, has they uh, have been chasing me down. Okay, so now we know. Uh, I didn't didn't invest all too much energy here, so that's all good. Um, now we know that that is not possible. The pack gave them no chance. But he can attack, because he's not that far up in the general. Ah, damn it. Oh, he only has a minus one today. I mean, he might even be useful. Let's talk tactics real quick. Oh. Are they going hard up this this hill? Ah, oh, back, don't stop. Uh, you're sliding back a little, a uh, little too the fast. Is off. Maybe a little too fast. Let's put him at 80. That would be better. Yeah, now we're hanging in there. Um, just cresting first. Then let's talk a little bit about tactics. Whoa! Oh no! Ah, not again! <laughs> they always rip, rip around Come on. Accelerate. We're going to catch them. No problem. But, um... Else they're going to slow down. There they are. Good. And, but now... Please no falls. I shouldn't say that. Ah, oh, come on, guys! You were already connected. Get back there. Yeah. So, tactics. This final hill is really steep. And... The uh, finish line is quite far away from... Um, from the peak, though. So... An early attack in the hill wouldn't be working all too well. Uh, but that's that's too dangerous because you need some resistance. It's not very steep downhill, so you will even need resistance in uh, the downhill section, uh, the big flat section of the downhill there. And then it's a few kilometers of flat there in uh, before the finish line too. So it's uh, it's not really that suitable for an attack, unless you have a high stat in flat. And Mechspec isn't known for, for that. He was in the right last the season, but, the but not, the not this time around. More and more on their guard. Some team so the third hill is coming up. Let's put Mechspec at 75, the because speed. this one will be ridden quite hard in comparison. Or oh, let's put it at 80. I don't want to rip again. Oh, my little helper guy is dying quite fast. But it's a short-ish hill. Let's see, it's not very steep either. Alright, we made it across. And my helper is still with us. Two even. Oh, they ripped uh, shortly. Uh, we, we are already down to 65 here. Another 54 a minute back. Alright, now we are 
all back. And oh, the bottles are getting empty. Can he actually grab some? Please? A rider has fallen. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Not again, McSpeck. Don't end it like this. Oh, okay. It was There's slow enough, it seems. And we got water. Tunnel, <laughs> that was a bonus. They all managed to set off again. And many, many, many are waiting, so that's great. Um, because there were some of the favorites among here. Oh, almost back. Almost back. Let's move up to the front. This is the final climb coming up, McSpec. Move, move, move. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, make your way through here. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Ooh. Close to the final climb. And we are back at the front now. Let's take position here. All right, what's going on here? Uh, there's still the escapees up front. Tim Wellens is trying to, uh, to attack. I think they might be able to win today, actually. Oh, is Mechspec getting a little bit of a gap here? Um, how long is this? The climb is just three kilometers. So we could move at 90. Who's who's this? He's not probably not really able to follow. Um, okay. Strong attack from McSpec. And let's pop our spec bar too. We have to try it. I mean, if we don't succeed today, then I don't know when. Uh, well, tomorrow maybe. Um, in the big mountains. So McSpec had a really good attack. But now we have the problem of... Oh, is anyone following? No, and just one kilometer left. Now we have the spec bar active, so that's really strong. Good, good, good. 48 seconds? That's not too bad. That's a fucking steep climb, mate. 11%. And we still have some resistance left over. 1 minute and 5 on the clock. But 12 more kilometers. Oh, that will be tricky to retain all my resistance there. Or oh, some resistance at least. Still a minute on the clock. That will probably shrink. And maybe the sprinters will catch me in the flat part. Because McSpec isn't known for his flat riding here. Uh, but his downhill skills sure are not too shabby. Only 40... Oh shit, my colleague has fallen. Okay, now McSpec. A rider is down. D this is this is <laughs> This will be hilarious in case you actually crash on him. Woo! Okay, we dodged the bullet. But maybe he takes along some of the those guys following me. Come on! Take them down. Uh three more kilometers. Do we even have that much? No, I don't think we have. Uh slow down a little bit. 80. There goes the mad burst for the final sprint. I think they're actually going to catch me. Th yeah. 30, 27. Ah, oh, McSpec is empty. Fabulous. Look he at them. The he gets zero seconds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my this God. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> that was a failure. Okay, Tim Wellens won. Uh, and we came in 7th, same time as everyone else. So our little escape had no effect apart from making us more tired for tomorrow's big stage. Oh, Mechspec is in 5th among the favorites. So if we have for once an actually good race day condition, that would be phenomenal. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh, it's 26 degrees. Nice. And otherwise, there's nothing. So, it's completely non-biased. Zero. Okay. If we, for once, during this race, could roll something that is actually better on a stage where it matters, that would be great. I think we had one or two of them on 20 stages. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, not good. But um, maybe today. Maybe today. Let's race. A tough and decisive end to the tour, which ends with McSpec just continuing the trend. It will not happen. <laughs> it will definitely not happen. He rolled a minus one. We are just so damn unlucky. 
Uh, shit. Okay, it could have been worse. It could have been a minus three or something. But I would actually prefer that because then it would just be like, okay, yeah, fuck you. Um, but now we have to actually work to uh, to not lose too much. Uh, maybe place in the top ten. Oh, that was a really big crash back in the Peloton. Whoa, there are just 59 riders left with us. <laughs> and it's slow speed. So they will be coming back. But, um, yeah, uh, that was that was ouchies. Big ouchies. Whoa, Pantano is attacking. That is an early attack. But, I mean, it does make sense because... Well, it's a little early. <laughs> he could have waited until the climb actually starts. Uh, but... Yeah, it does make sense, because it's only up and down from here. They are attack moving pretty bits. hard here, so yeah, an attack wouldn't there really work for Max Speck either. Uh, he's he's not strong today. He really is not strong today. 82 Mountain, which is good, but um, the, the secondary stats aren't very high today. Okay, the first one is done. Now, recuperate and uh, maybe tell someone to grab bottles. Uh, can you do that? I guess. Oh, so oh shit. Nope, he can't. <laughs> he just ripped. Fuck. Okay. We got some more water. This was this was crazy the difficult for Mass Bonnet, our, the, the leader of the coup against Mech Speck. Uh, yeah, uh, this, this, this climb isn't all that bad. Maybe he will even be able to get across it. Uh, together with us. Although... Yeah, it depends on how quick they are riding. I don't think they will be going all that crazy. But 160 is pretty crazy. Um, because this thing, the mythical climb that it is, is uh, supposedly one of the most difficult climbs in the world. And I don't really see anyone surviving it. Um, like, people will collapse left right and center even the favorites and it will be a slow slow grind towards the top so actually what McSpec will be doing is just set it at 70 and or 75 nah 70 because it's such a long climb and then go for it but that is uh, after the first step because the first step is pretty reasonable as you can see it's not that steep it's fine and we have our full resistance bar up. Alright, yeah, that's a pretty good tempo they are setting here. I'm happy with this. Maybe I should just start to go at, like, 72 or something for myself. It's a little faster than they're going. 70 is probably better. Even got a little bit back there for a sec. The and now we are entering the final climb. So, it's 7 kilometers. Let's set it at 75. I think that might be possible to, to crack. Although, ooh, yeah, it's super steep. Maybe uh, 72? 6 kilometers left, and we are losing so much. It's just so damn steep. My helper is gone. Come on, guys. Play some attacks, please. Just wear yourself out. Oh yeah, there the attacks are coming. Excellent. Quintana is going. Martin is going. And uh, they are all going. And I just stay here at my 68 or something. Maybe I can up it to 72. There's just four kilometers left to go. And we're now coming to the steepest section. Um... Oh, they didn't get far. <laughs> they didn't get very far. So let's use our spec bar now. And we just keep a steady tempo. 16% steep. Uh, three kilometers left. Just a slow, slow grind. Two kilometers left and our resistance is dropping. It is dropping. And some... Oh, damn, Martin already has thick legs. He's cracking. He is cracking. Okay, Chris Froome is, is trying to follow. He's going too fast. He's going too fast. You need to take it slow. 1.4 kilometers left. Mick Speck is catching up. Tim Wellens did get through. Now it's just one kilometer left. And I think we can accelerate. 
Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Maybe Max Pack can sprint for a little bit. He can accelerate up there, that's for sure. Still too steep for that. And now. Accelerate, Max Pack. Oh, come on. Max Pack, accelerate. Yes. No. Accelerate. Yes. There we go. The well done. Okay, seven. And Tim Wellens. Ooh. Wow, Fabio Roux did get a lot of time in this one. Huh. Yeah, um, but otherwise we did pretty well. Came in with Chris Froome and we even got some time on Quintana. And we are... <laughs> now we are 11th. <laughs> Brilliant. We didn't make it to the top 10. No. Oh, too bad. It was close. It was really close. Uh, or maybe it wasn't. Uh, let's have a quick look again uh, in the... Well, let's play the final stage, which is really quick, and then we have a look at it. The final sprint stage. Very nice and flat stage. Zero uh, bias here, but I think we have quite some tiredness now for the final stage. Like 70% or something. So, uh, but it's still not... Um, still not so bad that we actually have a negative uh, bias towards our race day condition. And just the way I think it's going to go is um, that today we will have a plus three race day condition. Just to say a big end fuck you to, to uh, my efforts during this tour. That that would indeed be excellent. We st we managed our resources very very well though. Uh, excellent freshness still after all these weeks. That is great. Well, it's not quite as much a fuck you, but if we had had a plus one yesterday instead of a minus one, we probably could have won the stage um, or like gotten one minute on Chris Room and stuff and all the other important riders. So yeah. It's it's not necessarily a big fuck you, but a small one, a f nice small Attack. one to round it it's off. Just nuanced fuck you. All right, just as expected, we are now moving towards the finish. Uh, escapees are going to be caught well ahead of time, it seems. Or oh, well, 53 seconds. No, pretty much perfect timing. And we don't even have him available. Oh, he has a minus four today, so yeah, that that won't help. But McSpec needs to grab some kind of wheel here and just uh, try to be positioned well as, as per usual. Alright, McSpec is very well positioned. Uh, I forgot my spec bar. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so, who's going to sprint? He's not really a sprinter, but we, at least we could follow him. There's a little sprint train going. Who is this guy? Oh, he's a good sprinter. Um, yeah, if he overtakes me, I'll, I'll try to get his wheel. Oh, mm, where's McSpec? There. Okay. Can I get his wheel? No. No, there's someone else behind him. Okay, I got someone's wheel. Yes, I'm in the front group. Wow, what What the hell? What's going on with the SKPs? Why are they not being caught? Did they leave them with too much energy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is good. Greipel is going. Uh, I can't catch his wheel, though. Uh, I'm quite happy with this one. So sprint! Max Beck, sprint! Can you actually sprint? Victory like sprint? Jeremy. There we go! Steered him to the side. Yes! We got 14th! And our guy got second place! Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> our, the, the one who made, did the coup against us. Mass bonnet! He um, almost won a stage. Almost. And this concludes the Vuelta. Whoa, that was quite the race. Lots of salt everywhere with my, our team. Uh, that's what happens if you just uh, add it to the end of your season <laughs> and everyone is just dying of tiredness. But overall, I think it went reasonably well considering the, the strength of our team and well, we could have won another stage or so. But we did get a stage win, so that's all good. And, yeah, some good showing by Mick Speck on the world scene. <sighs> Almost caught these guys. With a slightly better race day condition we would have in the final mountain stage. But a minus one really killed it there. And, let's see. Um, what are the standings? So, 11th overall. And 2nd in the uh, points jersey. 
Chris Froome took that one, as he did with the overall win. Fabio Aru did get very close in this final stage, so that was pretty awesome by him. And uh, let's see, so mountain points, Tim Villains, yes, he did really well, um, won the final big stage. And under 25s, third for Max Beck, not bad. And the team, <laughs> we're not last, <laughs> we're not last, nine hours. Oh, I think this is a cobblestone riding team, let's check them out. Um, cobbles? No, not not really. They have one rider for the cobbles. What what are they good at? Are they a sprinter team? Sprint? No. No, they are just shit. Of all, baroudeurs. Uh, good at nothing, but decent at everything. And decent isn't enough. Not when it comes to the welter. Okay, but that is great. Now, um, uh, is that all really? You must be kidding me. What? Ah, okay, now comes this one, but... What? What? Why do I just... For a grand tour, I only get 29 points. Why? That's ridiculous. Like, finish top 10, your overall standings. 11th. Nah. It's just 21 stages, so fuck off. 20, 29 points for you. If we had had a um, a better team for time trial, um, these 1 minute 40 at the start we got would have been much smaller and I would have been in the top 10 for a long time and then I would have gotten uh, XP every single day. So that's also something to... Uh, uh, to remember there um, so it's it's a big big fuck you once again I do need a better team so I'm now currently I'm a little bit sorry that I actually signed for with them for two years that's that's damn stupid but now there's nothing more on the schedule so we shall advance to the end of the year uh what okay oh uh, that is interesting we are taking part in the World Championships, and that wasn't on my calendar. Uh, but I still have 94% fitness, so that isn't too shabby. Um, well, I guess let's let's just quickly race it. I don't have very high hopes for it, but the profile is looking um, super interesting. So just look at that. That's that's brutal. Day today. All right. To what well, is the race day condition riders. of our little currywurst? Uh, if we roll good, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Plus one. Nice. So uh, he may get a. No, uh, if he's lucky, he gets a top ten. But we are not the team leader, so we won't get any protection. It seems. Uh, our Degenkolb is among our team. Okay, yeah, that explains a few things. <clears throat> He's pretty good, but I don't think he will stand a chance today. He has great stamina, but just look at this profile. That is a lot of meters of climbing and 256 kilometers or 260 at the start. Uh, that's uh, scary as fuck. That looks like a really oh, bad. and Max Beck has fallen. It looks like the pack has been and I, th <laughs> I think Max Beck even made the crash happen, on. so maybe he's out and has broken his skull or something. That would be a fitting end to the season. Looks like a few riders at the back are beginning to stall. Yep, Max Beck is out. Okay, that was a short race. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, it's all, all done. Season is over. <laughs> what a comedic end. All right, let's speed through. And here are the race highlights. And, uh, uh ouch, ouch, that, that hurts. Uh, ouch. A uh, final sprint victory for the pole. The pole who everyone is saying that he would win everything. Uh, Kwiatkowski is his real name. Um, so, yeah, that, that didn't go well for McSpeck. Um, and everyone was dead at the end. Like, no one had any stamina left. It was quite funny. So, what did McSpeck... Ow. Ow. That hurts. Fractured thigh. Ow. <laughs> Max Beck. 
Oh, it's good that this happened at the in the very last race of the season and not the first or something. Um, rider data. When are you back? Ah, okay. Recovery mid October. Uh, what? Nah, that doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, wasn't that bad, was it? Fractured vi- Ah, oh, it's- it's- oh, of course, it's the magic, um, currywurst smoothie. That is mending bones left and right. Anyway, let's, uh, progress towards the end of the season. Well, that was a little deceiving. No, his broken thigh, uh, mended in mid-November. So, much more realistic. Um, that was some- some weird artifact of the magic juice that he usually drinks. But before we end the season, let's uh, quickly take a look at the results of the season. So, in the World Tour, Chris Froome dominated this year. Mm, Dickie McSpeck, not too bad. 866 points, he got 36. Um, and in the Continental, Wow, he won! He's the best Continental Rider. Super Prestige, second. Wow, he came second. <laughs> that is awesome. And the number of victories, 21 this season. Only this dude beat us. He's a proper sprinter. Wow, what a talent. That's amazing. So what about the team, you ask? Well, in Continental, oh no! Damn it! We just missed it. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't just miss it. 1,000 points short. <laughs> that isn't just missing it. Uh, but we did place very, very well. And who else is coming down? Is the question really uh, from the Pro Tour? Um, that's the ones which we uh, this team has to compete with next time. Continental Super Prestige. Yeah, we did pretty well. 17th. And victories, 21. Does that number sound familiar to you? And here we go. Next season is coming up. And uh, construction of calendars. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Stop. Stop right there. Okay. Player data. Let's see how... Uh, yeah, yeah. This is, this is nice. This is real nice. Uh, good stats to start a season, of course. And let's take a look at our quick schedule here. Oh. Yeah. Looks pretty much like last season. Alright. That's that's good. Uh, wow. Quite a few ones in there. We will have to take a good deep look at this one. And see uh, what we want to ride. And the Vuelta is actually on our schedule this time around. Uh, that, that, that's not a good schedule, guys. This, this is not good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, with that all out of the way, a new season starting. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>